My wife and uh, I. Hold on. First okay. off, what's your name? My name is Max. Max, all right. And I live in Greenfield, Wisconsin. What you got here? 1973 Ford Mustang. All right. My wife and I bought the car in May of 1979. Okay. From its original owner. And my wife, when we bought it, we were just dating at the time. She didn't have her driver's license yet. She didn't have a car. And she asked me to help her buy a car. And I came across this because the vice president of the company I work for brought the car into work, put a for sale sign on it, and I called her and told her about it. And she asked to see it. Wow. So we went and so what happened there? We, we bought it. And then uh, my wife learned to drive with the car. She passed her road test with the DMV in the car. In July of 1980, when we got married, my brother took the car to the place where we had our wedding reception. And then when our wedding reception was over, we left the, our wedding reception in the car with the just married sign on the back and beer cans dragging off the back of the car. And then, then we used the car on our honeymoon drove it around Wisconsin. We went to the Dells and Devil's Lake and a nice little resort on a lake in Washera County. And the whole time we had the Just Married sign on the car and people would honk horns and wave to us and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. And then in September of 1980, the car was stolen, but it was recovered a few weeks later it had minimal damage to it. It was mainly damage that was used to start the car so they could drive away with it. But we got it back. And then in July of 1982, a guy who was intoxicated ran a red light at a major intersection and ran into it. Wow. And the car was considered a total loss. But we you, managed to you, save it you and her fix back it. Life, huh? Brought her back. All right. And I took the front end off the car, took it to a shop, and they did some straightening of the frame and some welding on it, and then I bolted it back together again. So it looked like this for 20 years, because my wife and I purchased a home, had a couple of kids, and it just taking care of the house and the kids was a priority over the car. We were just lucky enough to have a place to store it store and keep it, keep it so okay. that it didn't deteriorate any farther. And then in 2003, when the car was 30 years old, we decided to get it fixed up and it was taken to a shop and then professionally restored using parts from an old Mach 1. I see that one sitting across the street in that picture. Yeah. It was a daily driver for about a year and a half until I tore it apart to use parts. Okay. So the hood and a lot of the brackets that hold the front end together came from this car. Okay. And then in 2003 it went into a shop and they stripped it down. It was sandblasted and then repainted. And it was painted in June of 2004 and been driving it. Now it's been on the road on a regular basis since September of 2004. Okay, all right, my man. But all right. It, it's, so it's come on, let's, 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 let me uh, sit that down. Let, let's, let's do this walk around real quick. All right, so how you doing, my man? My name is Max and I'm doing real good. All right, so Max, you showed me everything, uh, the history of the car, and this is how she turned out. Yep. Wow. What year? 1973. 1973? Is this a Mach 1 or just a... Just a basic Mustang. Mustang. Okay, okay. So, man, you put a lot of... Well, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this In this car. one. Yeah. A lot yeah. of work was done by myself and then, you know, just to keep it together. And But it was professionally restored about 19 years ago. And okay. I just didn't have the time or the space to work on it, so I paid somebody to do it. But okay. uh, it, it turned out better than what I would have been able to do myself. But uh, 
it, it's a fun thing to have. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I ain't got one of these on the channel yet. So wow, you mind opening the hood up for me? Man, look at this thing, guys. This is nice. Wow. So what size engine in there? It's a 351 Cobra Jet. Cobra Jet. So what's the Cobra Jet? Well, it's a... Uh, it was a performance engine that was offered by Ford. It's got uh, a different cam and different valve train in it than a regular 351 Cleveland. And uh, it's actually an engine from a 1972 Gran Torino Sport. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, the car was originally a 302. And uh, I had the old rusty Mach 1 as a parts car. That had a 351 Cleveland in it. And I was going to use that engine in it, but it was, it was beyond repair. So I managed to find this engine and put it in it and uh it, it's estimated to be around 400 horse wow so you had a you had got a good cam and stuff in here huh wow it's kind of dirty right now because i drive it um, yeah that's what they built for yeah and the restoration like i said is 19 years old so wow. it's you know holding up pretty well but it could use some tlc right right Wow, this is a beautiful car. You mind opening the door for me? I like those rims. Those rims look nice on there, too. Yeah, look at the lips. I can see the seams in well, on the lips. Back in, back in the day when this car was new, Shifter Ford console. offered this style of wheel as an option on their cars. And uh, when the car was undergoing a restoration, I kind of was uh, wondering what kind of a wheel I wanted to put on it. Right. So uh, I thought about it a while and I decided to go with these because I, I just happen to like them a lot. Yeah, I got you. So what you got in the trunk? You mind opening the trunk? It's full of junk. I, That's all right. I like some cleaning supplies and some chairs and... Wow, uh, yeah, she really nice, my man. Yeah, see, she painted. I don't really be looking at. I just be wanting to get in the trunk a little right, bit and we'll see you guys later look now. around. All right. So wow, this really looks nice, my man. So you mind opening the other door? Yeah. Like I said she's those actually seams. pretty dirty right now. Yeah, those seams. This. No, I see. You know, it's clean though. It's a nice car. Wow. That's nice. So that's the original uh, shifter and console in there? Yep. Actual original floor mats, too. Wow. They still say the Ford on them. Those are from wow. when the car was new. Wow. That is nice, my man. Yeah, that is really, really nice. Yeah, this is going to be the first one I had on the channel. The doors closed nice and solid. She's really, really nice. Yes, sir. Wow. You mind firing her up for me real quick or what? Let me hear her run. She's sounding good, my man. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, this is nice. You really went through this one. Really went through this one. Well, I appreciate you taking out the time with me. You're welcome. All right, thanks a lot. Enjoy your day. All right, you too.